All right, in this quick lecture, we're going to talk about why the Earth has seasons. Um, so the Earth has seasons because it moves around the sun, it orbits around the sun, and it sits tilted on its axis. So how does that work? We're gonna put our sun right here in the middle, and we're going to draw the Earth's orbit, kind of looking down um, if we were to be floating above our solar system. And what we find out is that our Earth has a slightly elliptical orbit. And I'm going to kind of make it a little bit more obvious. So we can see that we're at times closer to the sun and farther away. Now what's really interesting as the Earth is moving around, it has these four positions that become very, very important. Um, and these are the positions that we find our um, solstices and our equinoxes, and they mark the passage of our seasons as the Earth goes around the sun. Now what's um, a common misconception is that we often think in the Northern Hemisphere, we experience summer when we're closest to the sun, and that's not true. So when we are closest to the sun, this is when we experience the Northern Hemisphere uh, winter, excuse me, yeah, winter. And when we are farther from the sun, this is our Northern Hemisphere summer. So our seasons are not related to how close or how far we are from the sun. And in reality, this ellipse that I've drawn out is actually almost a circle, but just not quite. So what's really happening? When we look at the Earth, it sits tilted on its axis. So what does that mean? If you were to draw a line, and if my, my Earth were round, let me try that again. See if I can draw. Okay. Okay, so if we were to draw a vertical line, what we find out is that our Earth is tilted on its axis at 23.5 degrees. So it's 23 and a half degrees off from normal. And that actually, that tilt, changes the amount of incoming solar ra radiation that hits the surface of the Earth at different times of the year. And it's those changes in the incoming solar radiation that gives us our seasonal variations um, on Earth. So we're going to look at what's happening in these four different positions to understand what's going on with our seasons. Now in this first scenario, what's happening when we have the Northern Hemisphere's winter is that the Earth is actually tilted away from the sun, the Northern Hemisphere is. So we can kind of draw that down like this. So it looks just like this picture right here. So what's happening? Let's see if I can find a color to be our solar radiation coming in from the sun. It kind of comes in, and we're going to just draw it, hitting all these points, okay? And it's reaching all that surface, so it can't go beyond this point because that's tilted away from the sun. Um, and we find out that more of, let's see, we'll draw our equator. Okay, we have more incoming solar radiation in the southern hemisphere. So this is their summertime. And in the Northern Hemisphere, we have less incoming solar radiation. It's spread out more over this surface. And we have longer nights and shorter days. So we have shorter days. Um, we have our winter solstice. And it happens around December 22nd. It varies year to year, just depending on exactly where we are in our orbit around the sun and the relationship for that tilt. So these are the shorter days that we have, okay? Now when we go over and we look at what's happening in the summertime, here, now our tilt doesn't change. So we could draw it like this for each position. So we're moving in our orbit around Okay, but the tilt always stays the same. So it's like the Earth is just spinning at this angle as it goes around the sun. When we get over to our summertime position, I'm gonna draw that in and put our vertical. 
in our belt for our equator. So that's zero degrees, the equator. This would be 90 degrees north, the North Pole. Now when the sunlight is coming in, in this direction, we can see that we have more incoming solar radiation hitting the northern hemisphere latitudes than we have in the southern hemisphere. So this is when we have our northern hemisphere summer. This is our summer solstice. We have our longest days. Um, and that's like, if you're at the North Pole, that's your 24 hours of daylight because as you can see, as that, um, that North Pole, that axis is rotating, it's always in the sunlight. So you have those really long days um, and that's our, our summer position. Now when we get to our positions where we have our equinox, so this is in September, around September 22nd. Again, this is around June 22nd. It does fluctuate by a day or two in any given year. Um, but in our, around September 22nd, we have our autumnal equinox. Okay, and then here around March 22nd, we have our spring equinox. And this is when we have 12 hours of sun at all latitudes, and that's in both places, so 12 hours of sun. And the question is, how is that happening? Well, if we just go and we look at this, now remember the sun, we're kind of floating above the solar system, so this was that direction of the solar radiation. Maybe I'll write it in red, so you can relate it to this sideways drawing that we had here. Okay, so it's kind of sending it out. At this point, when we look at it, um, now this is in the side view. So now we have to imagine that the sun would be shining directly on our earth. And as it does that, it's going in towards the board. The overhead sunlight, overhead where the sun is overhead at noon, is right at the equator. Okay, and so that means as we spin around in this direction, we're kind of rotating around on our axis, every location from the North Pole to the South Pole is getting the same amount of solar radiation on this day, so it's a 12-hour day, um, at all points on the Earth. Okay, so that's 12 hours of sunlight at every location, and the sun is overhead at noon at the equator. Now, at this location, the sun is overhead at noon at 23.5 degrees south latitude. And on June 22nd, it's directly overhead at 23.5 degrees north latitude. Um, so that kind of tells you how the, the sun would look like um, as it rises and sets at different times of the year and relates to the, um, the Earth seasons.